Tajaha. This is Hello Philthai News. For the headline, 1955 Ijo Uu, broker or agent, and Manila Economic and Cultural Office, disservice to the Filipinos in Taiwan? The surge of COVID-19 pandemic in Taiwan has been a blessing in disguise for many Filipino workers. It has been the reason to tell the world what they have been through here in Taiwan. Let's watch this pictures of their present situation and you can comment below on what you can do to help these Filipino workers. From this compilation of comments on Hello Filthy TikTok, one could tell that the Filipinos have no respect and no trust on 1955 brokers and Manila Economic and Cultural Office. Based on the reports of our Filipino friends, they are paying monthly for their house, electricity, and water supply. So, if you are them, would you live in this place? What is 1955? The function of 1955 hotline provided by the Minister of Labor is to assist migrant workers in communication. This is published in the unit Cross-Border Workforce Management Division on October 17, 2019. But the question is, has 1955 helped a lot of Filipino workers in Taiwan? The talk of the town right now in Taiwan is Shenhua Broker, who is holding many Filipino workers under the company KYEC or Kingyan Dianzi. What has Shenhua done to help fight against COVID-19 pandemic? Is this Shenhua Broker providing good service to the Filipino workers? On many of our social media platforms, more reports are coming from the Filipino workers in Taiwan telling us that they don't have proper housing in Taiwan. Many of their dorms are crowded, some are poorly managed and maintained, while some of them are asking a lot of questions on their broker's fee, house rent fee, their electricity as well as their water consumption. These are many of the basic needs of the Filipino workers and not only Filipinos as well as all the foreign workers here in Taiwan. Will our government change our law pertaining to this broker system here in Taiwan? According to this report, PJ, a Filipino who just wanted to work abroad, experienced being exploited in Taiwan. He is just one of the many Filipinos suffering from this kind of system from the brokers to our filipino friends here in taiwan who reported to us shenhua broker and dark wits manpower are just two of many other brokers who are abusing their power towards the filipino workers how true is it would shenhua and dark wits answer to this complaints more information given by our Filipino friends here in Taiwan said that they are so afraid to call 1955 and even report to Manila Economic and Cultural Office because for them, MECO, Manila Economic and Cultural Office, as well as 1955 and their brokers are culprits of exploiting them. How true is it? Where can these Filipinos find help? From our inquiry, those who answered our call responded that we should be called 1955. But what if 1955 can't help? 
What if 1955 tried to threaten the Filipinos? During our inquiry in 1955, it has been twice that an Indonesian agent answered the call and said, the Filipino 1955 agent is busy. So when we tried to do the online transaction on 1955 line hotline, one agent number 047 answered our inquiry and told us to call their hotline. So which is which, 1955? Are you really busy? Does the Ministry of Labor need more agents to help the Filipinos here in Taiwan? These are just one of the many questions that the Filipinos wanted to tell the world about their situation here in Taiwan. One of their biggest problem is their dormitories. And so they wanted to change it. They wanted to suggest that they will be given their freedom to choose their housing here in Taiwan. Would that be possible? According to some resource person, many Filipinos now are staying in a different house or in a different apartment. If this is already happening, why not cut off the broker system and let the Filipinos work here in Taiwan and live here in Taiwan on their own choice? It's not only about the dormitory problems. Many amongst the unanswered question, not only from the Filipinos, the brokers, and 1 in 5 5, is their problem on their wages or their paycheck, the problem on the amount they pay for the electricity bill and the water bill. Hello Field Thai News is giving you the situation of the Filipino workers here in Taiwan. We wanted to call the attention of 1955, the brokers, most specifically Shanghua and Dartwitz, to explain their side. If you want to contact Hello Field Thai News, please email hellofieldthai at gmail.com. This endless problem with the Filipino workers and other foreign workers in Taiwan is a challenge to the Taiwan government. Now that it's COVID-19 pandemic, how would you able to solve it? With the many issues of the foreign workers in Taiwan, most specifically to the Filipinos, the agents of the hotlines must be very nice, kind, and most importantly, know how to speak in English. But Hello Phil Thai News experienced firsthand that the agent of a hotline from a Taiwan government said she cannot understand English. For the many issues of the foreign workers in Taiwan, it is not an excuse of a government-owned hotline to say they cannot understand English. For so many years, more and more foreign workers or laborers are here in Taiwan. What did the government do to protect their rights? With 1955 or Ijo Uu, the brokers or agents, as well as Manila Economic and Cultural Office disservice to the Filipinos, what else can Taiwan do to help these workers? This is Jen from Hello Field Thai News reporting.